Hi, I'm Eric. I'm an app developer and I work with a lot of clients and with a lot of offshore software developers. So one of the things that's very important when we're putting together a software project uh, and discussing it with clients, also discussing with developers, is being able to put together a nice specification. It doesn't have to be uh, very formal, but we do need to kind of make sure that everybody knows what we're going to build before we build it. So one of the things that, that many software developers do, uh, including ourselves, is put together wireframes. Now I used to use Visio to do this years and years ago, uh, but it was it took a long time to do. It's like getting all the right uh, UI interfaces and everything together. Uh, so now we use Basalmic, and again, there's it's mobile. So like there's loads of wireframing tools out there specifically for mobile. They're all web-based. I've tried loads of them. They're all a lot slower than Balsamic is. Balsamic's years old, but it still it still works better. So let me give you a quick tour of how we use it just for mobile applications. Uh, so uh, and uh, show you how it is. So you see my screen here. All right. So I'll start with an app that we've already done. So when I did the first spec for EarSpy three years ago, it was basically putting together some wireframes, kind of how I thought it should work. So here, we, with Basalmic here, the desktop version, uh, I, again, I haven't used the web version, but again, the desktop version is, is lightning fast. Uh, just to give a quick tour of the interface here, uh, across the top you have all these uh, UI elements. So charts, graphs, uh, drop-down boxes. It's not just for mobile, so we've done uh, wireframes for websites as well. Uh, and but the uh, the most interesting up here is, thing up here is you have a quick add. So rather than go and find the control you need, you can just type something in. So just to give you an idea how quick this could be, I'm going to go ahead and redo EarSpy. Uh, basically, you go in and put in a container. Uh, again, I know what these are already. So after some practice, you do. I go in and type. Uh, put in an iPhone container. I know that I'm going to need a label at the top. So let's see. Put a label. Uh, you double click on each of these controls to edit them. So we go wait, ear spy. Otherwise you get these property boxes always kind of floating up here. So uh, it's a label so I can change the font. Uh, the control if I highlight on the actual iPhone form the iPhone control here uh, you can see I have specific uh, properties for this control so uh, one of the things I could do is a pattern background so I know that uh, EarSpy has a header at the top so I'll go ahead and put that um, right uh, EarSpy has these three circles in the front uh, so basically I just go ahead and uh, I could just go to containers and type it take in a circle if I want to if I didn't want to type that in uh, right now the shortcuts on Basalmic are what makes it so fast. So again, it was that quick add, but here Control D or Command D on a Mac will just go ahead and duplicate the control. So there we go. I, Command D, just, just a little bit. Command D again. Not entirely centered, but you can see what I'm doing here. And I'll do another one on the outside here too. Command D. Right, and this one I want to go ahead and send to send to back. Do do do. Ah, I want to send that one to back. There we go. Right, so I'll go ahead and put in a slider control, a vertical slider, which I have over here on the left for volume. Right, and I also I'll go ahead and move this. Go ahead, do Command D again, and just duplicate that. All right, because I have a equalizer here at the bottom as well. So Command D. Right, I have five band equalizer. So there are two, three. I'll go ahead and move these over. Just highlight all of them. Move them over just a little bit, and also move them up, move them down. Bring in another label here because I have the word equalizer. Right, and because it's a free app, I'm going to go ahead and take this rectangle control here. I'm going to move it down, just sort of mark out where I want my ad space to go. Right, and I'll go ahead and just do Control D, Command D on that. Just move that down here. Just say Add Space. 
Cool. So this is very much what my first uh, Ear Spy spec. I mean, Ear Spy has made tens of thousands of pounds. Uh, this is how it started. It was a, a very quick estimate, a very quick drawing. Again, the kind of thing where if I was to take this and show it to a client saying, is this what you mean? What if we had a button over here? Uh, let's take this over again and I go ahead and again, one of the nice things about Basomics is the shortcuts. I go uh, Shift Command N for new. It creates a duplicate of it in another tab. Let's just get rid of all this stuff here. Right, and what I want here on this new improved ear spy is a springboard design. So the, one of the things is I have an icon here. Right, a springboard design is very common in mobile. That's the kind of launch pad type interface. So go Command D, right, Command D, Command D. Command D. Right. Get some get another label in there. Right. Over here I'll just put my little what I want this to look like. Get smaller. Let's go. Twitter. maps I mean you get the idea here now one of the things uh, you have this icon control you also can go ahead and select do an icon search to show what to show to uh, show here so let's say I go Twitter right it brings up this icon and it changes that to a Twitter icon kind of out of the box stuff now you can add stuff to Basalmic it's kind of weird the way it works because it's a desktop app you have to put it into Dropbox no, you have, to, you have to put it on a local machine. If you're sharing it with somebody else, it's better to put it in the Dropbox, and those assets will show up there too. Let's just go Maps, Map, uh, Direction. You just click on the drop down here to see what's what's kind of out of the box here. There we go, Map. That's more of an image. Uh, Make that a little bit bigger. Change the size. Again, it's the kind of thing where you could take it and just create a, a full layout. Uh, a lot of things we do when we, we discuss with clients, clients will call us up, they have a vague idea, basically put it through here, draw up some designs, and add some, some markup. So there's this markup here thing, which is probably one of the most useful. Uh, say, I want to take this and say, add some uh, information about, so say, uh, Springboard design, dynamic by user. All right, so it gives, so I can kind of go through and do it in two ways. First, I have a, we have a document. Uh, we'll, we'll take this, export this as a PNG, put it into a Word document or a Google document. Uh, we'll put some, you know. Uh, some workflows in so we'll say screen one uh, springboard design from the springboard design if you click on Twitter you'll go to a Twitter feed if you click on on maps you'll go to the maps of, of whatever that you're looking at uh, icon 3 will go whatever yeah, right and not only does it give the clients an idea to say okay yeah, I, I see exactly what you mean it, it went from something nebulous to something we can actually see and it, as you can see it took a few minutes to throw together uh, but it's also something that the developers can look at so I say okay here's here's where we are we're all on the same page uh, we actually between me and the developers we take it a lot more further because we'll have some flow charts and we'll use a tool called Gliffy for for flow charting uh, just to say okay you know when it when it opens you know we check an API on the server we bring stuff down all that kind of stuff but anyway th this is just a very quick tour of Basalmic I hope you found this useful uh, if you contact overpass to do an app for you we'll be using Basalmic however if you come to us already with some uh, Basalmic uh, wireframes or any other tool it's always helpful uh, again this kind of thing doesn't work for games for games we usually have graph paper and rulers and we just sort of sketching things out uh, but uh, for proper business apps Basalmic is is the way to go so uh, I hope this has been useful. If you're looking to get an app made, uh, please give Overpass a call. I'd love to have a chat with you. Our number is 0845-834-1008. And make sure to check out Basomic for yourself if you haven't used it before. It's been around for years. It's solid. It's stable. It's fast. And uh, I couldn't live without it.
Talk to you later.